Assalamualaikum. So this is my third interview in my series of interviews with my family and my friends. And this is my mummy. She's agreed to interview me after quite a few attempts of asking her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are your religious beliefs? I would say fundamentally I have Christian beliefs and values, although I am not practicing. Okay, so do you believe in God and everything? Oh, absolutely. There has to be God to have such a creation as the earth and all the So, what was that like before my conversion to Islam? You were a normal teenage girl with uh, lots of different fads. What's a fad? A fad is a, something that you go through normally for a short period of time and quite intense. Cool. Some of them were cool. How do you feel about my conversion to a farm? Well, at first I thought it was one of your fads. Uh, then I realised that it was going a little bit longer than your normal fads. And uh, <laughs> I realised that you were serious. Yeah. And how do I feel about it? Yeah. It's from a perspective of a parent of a teenager, it's great. No boys, no drugs, no alcohol, no sex. Ideal. On that part of it, it's ideal. I, I have a few concerns about what's going to happen to you in the future as far as uh, a relationship goes because some men of certain cultures take their power to extreme and that really is the only thing that bothers me about Islam. But then again, the bad men in every culture. Oh, definitely, there are bad men in every culture, but uh, we perceive um, in particular certain cultures where they treat women with uh, little respect and that bothers me. But that's culture as far. Mm. Yes, but some cultures it is more predominant than our culture. What are your views on Islam as a religion? I don't know a great deal about um, theology. However, we have discussed quite a few um, aspects of Islam and I'm, I was surprised that um, the similarities between that and Christianity and uh, there are a lot of things that I didn't realise and I'm sure there are a lot of things that um, most people don't realise about Islam and it, um, from the little I know it appears to be um, a religion that is great for mankind in general. Are you supportive of my decision to convert to Islam? Uh, definitely. Uh, it seems to, it what makes you happy. You seem, I admire you for your commitment, Kim. And uh, I think it do, does take a lot of courage for a young person to commit to something, uh, something such as a religion. Um, no, I, I fully support you, Kim. It's, it's great that I had the opportunity to spend some time with um, Muslims in Indonesia and I think that was an extremely positive experience as far as Islam goes and um, I know that a lot of people, a lot of Westerners don't have the opportunity to have such a positive experience and it's basically kind of ignorance on their part that they don't accept and because they just don't know. They, they don't, haven't had the opportunity to have such a positive experience as I did. What were your views of Muslims before we moved to Indonesia? Probably similar to the rest of the Western world. Uh, I didn't have uh, a lot of respect. I didn't know a lot about Muslims and I probably based my understanding on what I saw on the television or what I read in the newspapers, which is mostly negative. Uh, so unfortunately that's what how most Westerners who don't know or don't haven't met Muslims that's their view of, of Islam and Muslims. That's just a fact of life, unfortunately. How do you feel about my decision to wear hijab? Well, I have belonged to a religion where a certain article of clothing was worn. Uh, that was both men and women, so I guess it's a 
a little bit hard for me to understand why only women need to cover themselves. And to some degree, it makes a little bit of a mockery of men that women have to be protected from their lustful glares. Uh, so that's a little bit hard to understand that um, Islam sees men in that light. And that's the way I interpret you having to wear hijab. But I understand why you do it, and uh, I fully support it, and such commitment. <laughs> um, so, like, did you know that Muslim men have to cover a certain part of their body as well? From no. the navel to the knees. But you have to do that as well. I mean, you have to cover up a lot more than men do. And, um, as I said, it seems strange that it doesn't say a lot for the male of the species that you have to be protected in such a way from men and their, their glares and the way they look at you. That, that's very sad, really. But it happens. It does. That's, that's definitely it does happen. And, and it's your choice to wear a hijab. And actually, I, I think they're quite beautiful. And the women I have seen wearing hijabs do look beautiful. And I do like it. It's a bit hot, but <laughs> your choice. Hot is in temperature, hot is in smoke. <laughs> temperature. <laughs> if you could say anything to the Muslims out there, what would it be? I think we need to educate people more. I don't know how that's going to happen, but we need to educate people more about Islam. And Muslims, instead of shrinking back, they need to get out there more to show the world what they are truly like and what they truly believe in, and that's what you're doing. And, uh, and I admire them for their commitment and their values and their beliefs because uh, it's not half-hearted, it's um, full commitment and dedication and I think that's very important and I'm sure God is smiling on you all for your commitment, your strength and dedication to your religion. Heck yeah! So overall, are you cool with it? Cool with you being Muslim? I don't know everything. <laughs> Well, of course, I am I have to be cool that you're my daughter and, and I love you very much and I support you and I just want to see you happy. Any parent wants to see their child happy and this is what makes you happy and it's a good thing. It's not a negative thing, it's a good thing when you have good values and you want to make a positive impact on the world and that's good. So, yes, I'm cool with it.